Welcome to Roofing Road Trips, the podcast that takes you on a thrilling journey across the world of roofing. From fascinating interviews with roofing experts to on-the-road adventures, we'll uncover the stories, innovations, and challenges that shape the rooftops over our heads. So fasten your seatbelts and join us as we embark on this exciting roofing road trip. Hello and welcome to Roofing Road Trips from Roofers Coffee Shop. This is live in person at the Spry Single Ply Roofing Institute winter meeting. And I am with my dear friend, Scott Carpenter. Hello, Scott. Hey, howdy girl, how are you? I am so happy to be here with you. Well, welcome to Clearwater. Oh, it's beautiful. I and mean, even though it's rainy, it's so beautiful. It's okay. Yeah, and you know what's really beautiful is just being here. When I walked in, this is my first Spry meeting. And it's like all my friends right here. <laughs> it's it, so it is, a, it is. It, it really has a family component to it. And uh, <clears throat> my wife, this is her favorite week of the year. Oh my gosh. Where I we just that. get together and we just enjoy each other, learn things, yeah. and be a part of something really special. Yeah, I've, I sat through the um, all the technical yesterday. Yeah. I shouldn't say sat through. I yeah. engaged, um, sure. listened. So interesting. You guys are doing so much great stuff on the technical front. It's amazing. But you know what? Before we go too much further and dive into all this, okay. let's start out with an introduction. So sure. for those few who don't know you, can you introduce yourself and tell us about Anchor Products? Give us a little bit yeah, of your sure. history mm -hmm. in the roofing industry. So blessed to be part of this organization. I celebrated uh, my 40th uh, year in the roofing industry uh, in September. And uh, it's just been a wonderful journey for me. Uh, director of sales with Anchor Products, a uh, company in Texas that does rooftop attachments. Uh, it's funny, we figured out how to put roofs on really well. <laughs> yeah. We're good at it. Uh, rooftop anchors basically uh, puts a mechanical attachment to hold things on a roof. Okay. So in a wind event, our seismic, it's all these things that are bouncing across the roof that gives us problems. Yeah, So exactly. that's what Rooftop Anchor does and uh, work with Joel Stanley and his team. And uh, it's, just been a, it's just been a real blessing for me. I love it. And you're president of Spry. And, and that's for another- the next two that, years. That's another, <laughs> that's quite another blessing. Uh, so yes, uh, Spry, as, as you know, just a wonderful organization. I've been active in it for many, many years and uh, uh, was kind of nudged uh, to get involved in some of the chairs and uh, have served through different committees and uh, now blessing to be president yeah. for two years. For two years. And uh, excited. Was uh, officially uh, inducted yesterday morning. I saw it. I was here. Um, Brad Van Dam, who's the outgoing president or now the past president. Yeah. Um, and it was just such a great interchange between the two of you passing the gavel and really um you can see that whole board the whole spry board is so impressive well a little little emotional for me uh just having a front row seat to watching brad uh, do his thing so so well yeah he is such yeah. a pro he is and have learned so much from him yeah well i tell you what t you can learn so much just period just being being here from the wealth of knowledge wisdom and experience of the people attending this incredible can you kind of tell everybody for those who may not know who spry is who what is what does the membership look like and who are sure. um you know who are here this during this winter meeting what way i describe it at times uh especially to, to new members and candidates it, it, it is just this wealth of information walking into this place it's like the hall of fame of technical yeah. minds it is it and is. Uh, just building bikes over there what we did a while ago you just got these great engineering minds and, and these uh, huge influencers uh, to excellence in our industry. And it, you know, for me, I'm sometimes intimidated with just the talent in this room, but to be part of the group is, is really special. And although they're these just crazy uh, roofing giants, they're so welcoming and, they are. and uh, humble. Yeah. And uh, everybody has a real desire to be difference makers in this room and truly uh, contribute to the roofing industry. Yeah. So Spry in general, I think you know a little bit about it, founded in 1982. Okay. Uh, many of the European membranes were developed and Spry was founded as the introduction really to uh, thermoplastics and thermosets started to get popular mm -hmm. here in the States and really to educate uh, the market on flexible membranes. And then later through uh, really a, almost a, uh, Evolution, uh, later we uh, added uh, 
modifieds to yeah. that. Uh, then we open it up to accessory and raw material suppliers and uh, adding consultants and architects, uh, uh, testing facilities to that membership. So some 86 strong is by way of membership. And uh, this morning in our board meeting, we welcomed six new members. Oh, that's Which great. is crazy exciting yeah, to me great. as Pride continues to grow. Wow. There's, and what I saw here too was just such a breadth of um, ex expertise across the um, industry. So it's not just single ply manufacturers, like you were saying, but there are architects, consultants sure. here. And then there's like, you, like that, how do you anchor the roof? What are the accessories? Um, what are some of the chemicals that go yeah. into some of the roof? I've met some great chemical um, providers here who are here talking about how can you continue to make single ply roofing better and stronger. Right. Yeah, I agree. It's, uh, again, just a special group. And one of the things that we're doing as part of our five-year strategic plan that Brad was wonderful to lead us through yes. is to really open that up more and more. I mean, we all touch single ply in some way, shape, or form, and to open that up beyond uh, the, just the general manufacturers, but anybody that really contributes to single ply uh, roofing. And, you know, I'm just so, we're so proud at Roofers Coffee Shop that we are member, not members, but we are active within Spry. Spry is on the Roofers Coffee Shop with a full directory. And we're able to come attend these meetings and really see what's coming in the future on great discussions around PVC. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, that was a hot topic. That was right? a hot topic. Yeah, so yeah. again, PVC has somehow found its way onto a, uh, a red list. And uh, so as a group, uh, collaborative uh, Minds and Spirit, uh, working with Deb Mazel from the NRCA. Uh, it was uh, just a wonderful way to come together, strengthen numbers, yeah. and be able to stand together uh, and talk about the benefits of single product. Yeah, it's um, really the speakers we had today, which was David Pogue from on um, CBS Sunday Morning talking about AI. Incredible. That was incredible. It scared me a little bit. I though. know. It scared I, it was, me a little it was, bit, uh, too. It was, it was powerful, and uh, just, uh, uh, just to have him, he just has such an energy to him. Yeah. So that is for our SPRA committee, our annual committee. It's always a, a challenge to kind of connect the right speaker. Yes. Uh, of course, you know, you see all these different, be the best version you can be, but what we wanted to do is have a topic, really, that speaks to our, the heart, and he just knocked it out of the it park did. this morning. Talking about AI, just uh, across the board, not only in the creative sense, but also in automated cars, um, the airplane. I found absolutely amazing electric airplane. Electric airplane. airplane. And you know this is going to start affecting the roofing industry. Sure, absolutely. And so as you're kind of looking at this and looking at the rooftop with everything you've all been talking about with the labor shortage and all, really kind of what are you seeing out there in the industry? And what is kind of, let's talk a little bit about Spry's initiatives going into 2024 and your five-year sure. plan to kind of address Making it, you know, continuing to make it more productive on the roof. Sure. Great question, Heidi. <laughs> so, so for us, uh, important that we're active in, at all the code bodies. So we were blessed to hire the great Chadwick Collins yes, this year so as our first, yes. uh, truly first uh, fully funded technical director and to have uh, Chadwick present at all the code hearings and, and being an advocate for single ply. Uh, if you don't know Chadwick, Reach out to him. He is quite the gift, this crazy giant uh, uh, gift to our roofing industry. Yeah. And to be very active in the, the codes and testing uh, bodies. Uh, also, I mentioned to you that we're looking by way of an initiative to, to add members to that, anyone that really touches the single ply industry, uh, to be part of SPRY. And then, you know, we want to continue to be a, a, a strong voice to. Uh, Washington, yes, uh, where we are dealing with labor issues and PVC red list and other yeah. things that that are kind of important topics that could affect our roofing industry in positive and negative ways. Just an awareness is important. Yeah, Deb Mazel was awesome this She's morning. Great. Man, such great information coming out of NRCA and what they're doing with the roof pack. Uh, just amazing. So, yeah. Scott, over the next two years. What are some of your goals? What are some of the things you would like to see accomplished during your presidency? Well, I, I, a couple of things. One is, is I, I should men, mention one of the wonderful benefits to being part of this org organization is the statistics information we get, which yeah. is comes in quarterly uh, by roof membrane, uh, by roof type, 
uh, by boards. We get that quarterly, and then we get it on an annual basis. And, and the power of those statistics and the power of data uh, to really shape strategies for our different organizations is, is key. And we want to drive that and continue to do that. Market's down about 20% uh, based on the statistics. Uh, but at Spry this year, we saw our attendance up. We had some 130 people here. Uh, the sponsorship uh, level was at an all-time high. Yeah, it was great. So people continue to invest in Spry, and that's what we want to see. Just not financial commitments, but getting involved. So one of the initiatives that I sponsored last year, acronym simply is Omni, Onboarding uh, Members Nurturing Involvement. And it kind of comes from my heart of walking into this organization probably 25 years ago and not really knowing anyone, being intimidated <laughs> by all these, you know, wonderful <laughs> minds. Uh, but to have someone, in my case, there's an individual that kind of grabbed me, took me under his wing, showed me the way, introduced me to people, uh, pointed me in different directions, different committees that would be good for me to serve on. And, and of course, I'm president. And here you are. Quite the blessing. So that journey. But for me, it, it's important for me to, to as we reach out uh, to new members, again, six new members just this morning, and really come alongside them as a good wingman. Yeah. Uh, and get them more deeply involved in Spry. I love it. It is our future. Yeah. That's such a great goal because to get more people, especially young people, right? We have so many, and I saw a number of young faces here, and um, to really get involved because we've made friendships over the years. Now it's their chance to make friendships, to be mentored. I think that's, that's a, an amazing goal. You said something, though, that I want to just um, go back on because I'm always interested in this. You said that the Spry numbers were down a little bit, um, uh, the, the overall roofing numbers for single numbers. plot. Yeah. How much of that do you think is really from COVID and from the supply oh, chain issues? Well, good question. In fact, tomorrow we have uh, uh, an economist, Kermit Baker, speaking to our group tomorrow. And, and uh, we have our president of the NRCA speaking tomorrow, Kyle Thomas. Yeah. Uh, I am quite sure one of those or two of those questions will come up for, for those folks. Uh, I think there is a having kind of gone through this nightmare of the pandemic yeah. and then the challenges of uh, the supply chain meltdown that I'm quite confident there'll be college courses taught. Oh, I day, think so. Definitely. Uh, on yeah. what happened. Uh, yes, we're still dealing with some of the fallout out of that. But I think too, and uh, I think Deb uh, this morning, Deb Mazel uh, touched on this. You know, there's some shaky consumer confidence. There's some interest rates doing some crazy things there is a surplus of you know iso board and different yeah. material out there where people kind of did some panic buying i'm i'm wondering how much of that was involved with that there well, was a lot of warehouses full of uh, I products agree. absolutely yeah. agree so we are seeing some of that we continue to see challenges with labor that the nrc is looking to address but yeah. uh, it'll be interesting to have a uh, economist tomorrow talk about that and then get uh, kyle's uh, commentary on what he believes is the true number I agree so much. I have to tell you, I love listening to economists because everyone is different. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Well, Kermit, Kermit Baker, is a, he's a pretty good one to yeah. have tomorrow. So, that's really so he'll good. speak to us about that. I'm very excited. Well, I, Scott, I just have to say thank you. And one of the things that I want to make sure everyone out there watching this understands is how can they get involved in Spry? Like if, if even like contractors sure um how can they get involved how they can they learn more what how you know how can this help their business every day yeah, business? sure a couple things one is dora we didn't i didn't really touch oh yeah on, let's talk about dora dora's acronym directory yeah. of roof assemblies yeah. and it's just another book on the shelf that a contractor or consultant can grab and it's a web-based listing uh service that spry uh has put together uh, not to replace FEM, but to be an additional resource to the industry. So that, that's one in the importance uh, and the uh, wonderful story of Dora uh, that has multiple listings that are not contained uh, in RoofNav. So that's one place I think they can find a great benefit. Uh, I think the other one is just go to the website, look at Spry. It's, it's info at spry.org. And... Uh, just browse around, look at some of the pages, see some of the things we're doing. We're writing uh, monthly blogs and putting some great uh, uh, resource papers out there, some position papers. Uh, study up, 
uh, call the office, call me. Yeah. Uh, and I will tell you our, my surprise story, which is wonderful. And uh, we we'll just encourage you to learn more about our organization. Yeah. And there's so many great technical um, resources. And so I do want to say, Dora, there is a full directory on Roofer's Coffee Shop for Dora. So you can find out information there and then get to it. Use it in your business. Uh, also, same thing with Spry. Full directory, all the information. Plus, we are taking a lot of the blogs and articles and we are repurposing them out there so that you can find them, whether it's anywhere. But go to Spry, the Spry website, and then but you can find that easily on Roofer's Coffee Shop on the directories. And I did maybe the one last thing to, to kind of speak special to the carpenters hearts is is the relationships that are developed over the years in this, this room you know sometimes i mean many times these are competitors yeah that we're sitting amongst yeah uh, but comes together the spouses come together like i said my sweet wife will not miss this week uh and it's just a really special 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 group of people it really is it really but you know what that's kind of roofing overall think so it is yep. this is one of the great places and you're one of those too oh you Thanks are too thank you um scott thank you thank you for having me thank and you for you, being here and thank you for everything you do for the industry and your presidency is going to show great i love the inclusive welcoming your omni i think that's awesome well i'm blessed thank yeah you, girl. so thank you Appreciate it. thank you all for watching we're going to be doing a lot of these this year live from the events that we go to love to hear the stories love to um, bring my friends and bring them all to you so Please join us for all our roofing road trips. You can find them under the navigation of RLW under roofing road trips on Roofers Coffee Shop or on your favorite podcast channel. Be sure to subscribe and set those notifications so you don't miss a single episode. We'll be seeing you next time on Roofing Road Trips. If you've enjoyed the ride, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join us on every roofing adventure. Make sure to visit RoofersCoffeeShop.com to learn more. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you on the next roofing road trip.